My friends, it is now time for episode number five of the Doghouse SMP. That's right, if you didn't catch it last time, the Doghouse is now an SMP with myself and Mrs. System Z and Nova all joining in, having a good time here in this multiplayer world. But I've actually done a couple of other things since the last episode. I got a lot of diamonds, baby. And a lot of iron and gold as well. Also have a fully powered enchanting system. Ooh. Got a bit of organization going on with my chest storage. And outside, I've done some work on making a sugarcane farm and laying out where we want our first doghouse to go. Right here on top of this hill. I've also been playing around with this new water strainer mod, which has been added to the pack that we're using. It's pretty cool, but I don't have any more strings, so I can't show what it does just yet. We'll wait till another time. And finally, I've done some work on Ivan's texture pack, and if he comes on outside, come on, don't be shy, boy. You can see for yourself, he's just a little puppy dog. He's all black, just like my real dog, Ivan. And he's just a little tiny guy with a little nub and tail. Oh! Look how small he is compared to me though. He's like the perfect size. Our Betsy's are doing right good. In fact, we've got a few more Betsy's and I've had to take out some Betsy's as well. And we have a little garden, but this is actually the most important thing that you could be looking at today. We got some potatoes. We got some wheat. We don't have anything else besides those two things. But Ivan and I know firsthand that having lots of wheat is very good because we can make dog treats out of those, right, buddy? That's right. That's right. In today's episode, my friends, we are going to be expanding on that farm over there and in fact we're gonna be moving it right over here with our very first big build here on the server a proper farm and I've actually got all the materials already set up that I want to use today. I've been doing some work, my friends. I've been doing some work. I got some blue concrete powder. I got some glass. I got some stone brick stairs. Some stone bricks. Some stone. Some coarse dirt. Some regular dirt. Some torches. A spruce door. Some spruce wood. And a weather deflector because I have no idea how far that weather deflector that I have inside my house actually works. I don't know. I don't know what the range is on it. So just to be safe, I'm going to put a weather deflector inside every single one of these builds that we make. But that actually reminds me, I have two other blocks that I was able to make. We've got an anemometer and a wind vane, and I'm gonna pop those up on top. Rachel, and it should look pretty cool. Hey, look at that. This is an anemometer. It's going to tell us which direction, or no, how fast the wind is blowing when the wind starts picking up. At some point, the wind will start picking up, and we can see how fast the wind is gonna blow. And then we also have the wind vane, which points in the direction that the wind is blowing. Right now, it's just north. I guess it's not blowing at all. But whenever the wind starts blowing, these these here will be, uh, they'll be kicking up. They'll be moving in some directions. Now for all of you who are wondering, Ashley is actually right over in that direction. I'm gonna show you. Let's walk over there so you can see where Ashley put her little hidey hole. I don't know if she's gonna be moving her base to a more permanent location later on, or if she's deciding that this is gonna be her permanent location. I don't really know what's going on, but I put uh, a chest over there for her full of some goodies. Maybe she'll find them the next time that she's streaming. And also, there's her door right there. It goes down inside of her hidey hole. So she is down there right now, I think. Yeah, she's on right now, and she is down there mining. So we're going to leave her alone. Maybe we'll see her later on. I have no idea. I don't know how to plan these sorts of videos. I don't really plan much of anything. I just go with the flow, baby. And Ivan goes with me. He goes where I go. <laughs> well, my friends, why don't we get started on this little build project and see what we can make happen by the end of this episode. And actually, for this first build, I want to do something fancy. And I wanted to do something fancy too, right? Right. We are going to do a third person time lapse while I'm building this. You guys get to see all of my mistakes from above. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be crazy. And it's going to be a good time. I'm going to start laying this out. And why don't you guys watch from above, like over in that direction or something? I don't know where you're going to be. Let's get to it.
There we have it, my friends. We've got the dog bone. Ivan, where'd you go? Ivan, I thought... Oh, there he is. What do you think, pal? We got a dog bowl, man. I love it. <laughs> As you saw, it's a farm on the inside. We got patats. We got wheat. We're going to need to get some carrots and beetroot. I should have gotten the beetroot. I've actually got some beetroot already in storage. Check it out! We got rows here. You want to do rows, right? Because if you alternate the rows, then the crops grow faster. It's a thing. And we even got a second level going down. Oh, baby. And I've got room here to make a third level going down. So we can just keep expanding this and keep going down as much as we want to. Ivan, dude. His little tail is wagging up a storm. You deserve a treat, pal. Look at you. Look at you. I got a lot of junk here in my inventory. So let me clean this up real quick, and then we're going to move on to the next thing. This is fantastic. And I've already got some, some crops here and everything. We're going to make some food. We're going to clean up all this junk, and then we're going to get on to the next deal. Now, Ivan, come on inside. It's raining out there. Have a seat, pal. Have a seat. One of the things that I noticed while I was working on this project was I actually don't have very much sand. I have none left at all. And I don't have very much glass. Uh, yeah. I cooked up this glass because I thought I was gonna use it and then I was like, eh, nah, not really, not today. We use most of the sand for either that glass or all this concrete and I didn't use all that either. But we got plans for this. We got, we're gonna use plenty of blue concrete in the future so no worries about that. But I need a ton of sand. I need all of the sand that I can possibly get. And there's just not enough sand around here in the little beaches and rivers and everything. So we, Ivan, you and I, we gotta go on an adventure. And I hope you're ready for it. So let's grab Ivan some raw meat. I think I've got him some right in here. Yeah, we'll grab some raw meat. We are going to put it in his little pouch right here. And just for right now, I'm gonna put him in wandering mode so he'll eat out of his bowl here too for a little bit while I get myself prepared. Let's bring along a stack of wood. Make sure the potatoes are cooking up. Bring some iron for the shovels and pickaxe just in case. Crafting table and a sleeping bag oh my goodness i got a sleeping bag baby all right ivan come on bro let's get out of here let's go and find some sand i need a desert and let's get on the road honestly though i have absolutely zero clue how far away this thing is gonna be so we might be in for a bit of an adventure here You know, Ivan, for a little dog, you sure are one hungry boy. It's a good thing there's lots of sheep around here. Check this out, it's another one of them birds. Oh, I'm sorry, friend, I gotta kill you. I'm trying to get one of their feathers, but I'm, they're not dropping any of these feathers. The raw, the herons. I need the herons to drop a feather, please. Then, then I can collect them, then I don't have to kill you anymore, because you're all so pretty. I would much rather be out here in the dark, in the middle of the night, facing skeletons and creepers and spiders than I would having to deal with tornadoes just by, because I was away from home longer. At least if I fight creepers and spiders, I'll end up getting some gunpowder and string. Or not. Or not. You dumb zombies. Get out of here. Twenty five hundred blocks away from the base. Oh, sweet! There's the savanna over here too. Oh, and a and a village. <laughs> uh, yes, yes, there are bears. <laughs> hey, what's up? What's good with you? Who else is here? Do you have any other friends around here? We got in here. Hey, fellas, 
What's good with you? Librarians? Look how many libra- That guy just like fell in front of me. You guys love paper. What do you want so much paper for? Are there any other goodies? <gasps> Look, carrots! We need carrots. Anything else? A blacksmith. Let's go see what they got on here. More librarians. How many librarians are there? We got a saddle. An iron sword. And some oak saplings that we don't need. We need cactus too. I didn't even think about cactus. Let's get us some cactus. Oh, you know what I should also do is grab some of these dead bushes while I'm here. You never know when you might need a dead bush. I'll take some acacia wood too. Why not? Why not? Uh, it's nighttime. I haven't even gotten any any sand yet and my inventory is already completely full. I don't think I planned this out very well. <sighs> All right, let's get to it. Got plenty of inventory space. I'm gonna try to get as much sand as I possibly can. And yeah, you know what? Uh, the, uh, this, the desert around this village might not look all that great. That's just how it's gotta be. It's really far from my house, so I don't really care what it looks like. And to be quite frank with you, Ivan probably doesn't care either. I wonder if Ivan can catch bunnies. Hey dude, can you catch bunnies? Go on and go on and attack this bunny over here. Here, I'll I'll herd it your way. I'll make it run your direction. Come on, get the bunny! Get it! Get the bunny! Huh, maybe I need to train him how to chase bunnies or something. Get him, Ivan, come on! Get him! Yeah, get him! Chase him down! Attack him! You ran right by him! What are you doing? Let's see what he does. Get him. Get him. Jump on him. Yeah. My boy. Woo. You deserve uh, something. Come here. Let me feed you something real quick. Oh, my goodness. We got a little rabbit thing. We're going to take Ivan proper rabbit hunting someday. That is all she wrote. This is all the sand that we can get without starting to lose valuable stuff. I think it's time to head home. Ivan, come on. Let's get out of here, dude. Let's go. The long journey home begins. Oh, we made it home. Let's plant some carrots. Ooh, I'm thrilled that we have some diversity in our vegetation. Maybe not vegetation, vegetables. That's what I meant, vegetables. I haven't get you some bear meat, son. Mmm, delicious. All right, let's put Ivan back in wandering mode so that he just pops around, you know, hangs out around his food bowl and his bath and water and everything. I think that we have done a pretty good job today, if I may say so myself. We got a dope build, a dog food bowl that's full of farms inside for us. We went off and we got a ton of sand and other blocks and trees and acacia and a peony flower and a bunch of dead bushes and cactuses. In fact, I'm gonna go plant one of these cactuses outside right now just so we can grow up a little bit, you know. There we go, look at that. Yeah, boy. We are well on our way to creating this beautiful land that is for dogs. I think I'm gonna do some farming real quick. Ivan's gonna hang out around here and the episode is gonna end here. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. I appreciate it very, very much. I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. We are going to do a stream here on the doghouse sometime in the next few days. If you wanna catch that over on mixer.com slash stivlerd or if you wanna catch Mrs. System Z over there, link to her Mixer channel is going to be down in the description below as well. As the moon peers over the kibble and bits in that dog bowl there. I say to you all, good night and peace.